Hi, 3D Printer Geeks. I'm Frank from Frank's 3D Shop. And today, we'll see another setting that you can calibrate your printer with. Let's see what it does and how to calibrate it. And now, let's see in close up what it looks like and how to recognize it. So this is the tree example I was talking about. This is no retraction or not enough, just the right amount and too much retraction. So as you see uh, here, there are strings between the two towers. So when the, the head moves from one tower to the other and move up one layer, it leaves a trail in between of plastic and it's you can remove it but even even the towers if you look at the towers here there's too much plastic because there is no retraction and it keeps oozing out and you have too much plastic in between and even after the because those are two small towers and if we look at the good example so this is the right amount of, of retraction there is nothing oozing out it's sturdy cannot break it this one also you cannot break it but too much plastic and the last example is too much retraction so as you see here when the head moves from one tower to the other there is so much retraction then we we are missing plastic when it retracts back to continue the print and those towers are easily breakable you know there is no structure to it as as in the uh, flow rate video so that's the three example of retraction so you need to look for this when you print this okay now how do we change retraction as i said before it is changed inside of your slicer so let's look at my screen i'm in cura because i use cura and it's set up for the monoprice select mini printer so let's load that mod test model. Move it around. That's it. And then you at, at the at the right, you have the recommended settings. We want to go into custom setting. And then into material settings, we open up that menu. And you have enable retraction, which is normally enable, but we want more than this. So we could we click the little gear and then enter retraction and we can add retraction distance and retraction speed and close this and now you have all three settings what we want to change for the test is the retraction distance so that is the settings you should normally play with to find the best setting for your printer as you have seen in my demonstration of the three possible ways it can go so too much okay and too little and that's it that is that simple cool so that's it for me guys go play with this setting and find the best one for your printer and please don't be shy leave a comment and if you like this video Press that little thumbs up if you please. Thank you. See you in the next video. Ciao.